the, the, the case for Europe today and the case for Britain to be part of Europe is not the case that was made for my father's generation, mm. which was about peace after the Second World War. Today, the case is about power. It's just a simple, it's a simple equation. If you want to have the power to represent your interests and have influence in the world, if you are a medium-sized player, you've got to band together. You know, in the end, that's the, that, that's the case for Britain to be, to be part of Europe. It's not about peace today, it's about power. So we can be a really powerful, important global player, but not without alliances. And to give up this huge alliance right, right on our doorstep, to which we're joined physically by the Channel Tunnel, geographically, historically, culturally, to absent ourselves from the biggest of our markets and the largest political union in the world it, it is an extraordinary you know, self-defeating act if you want this country to remain strong. If, if you want to be global Britain, which is what mm -hmm. Theresa May says, and I heard Liam Fox say the same this morning, how do you start by being global Britain, by withdrawing from the biggest global alliance in trade right on your doorstep? If you want frictionless trade, mm -hmm you're going to have to align yourself with European rules. If you align yourself with European rules, then either in several sectors or in the whole of your trade, then the country's going to say, well, what's the point of leaving? I mean, we've just become rule takers and not rule makers. Mm -hmm. If, on the other hand, you say, I want freedom to diverge so that your rules are different from those of Europe, then you're going to have real friction in the trade. Mm -hmm. What they say is, yes, we, we, we want as near as down at the trade we have now, <coughs> but with the freedom to diverge from Europe's rules. The fact is, I know, that, that's what, what we, we now know in the, in the uh, you know, this is now known as cakeism, right? This is, you know, you can have your cake and eat it. Europe's not going to agree this. I think the conservatives have got to understand that if they drive through this Brexit deal, that is going to be the gateway to a Corbyn government. Because in, in my view, Brexit will then be 100% owned by the Tories. I don't believe that Labour will vote for the Tory deal on Brexit. And it will allow Labour to say, well, we'd have got you a better deal and these guys didn't get the right deal and so on. And by the time you get to 2022, you know, you'll be out of the European Union People will then, I've got a feeling the 17 million who voted to leave are going to be short on gratitude, and the 16 million who voted to remain are going to be long on memory. I was Prime Minister for 10 years. Okay, I can't remember a single law. I thought I've really got to pass in Britain, but I can't because Europe's stopping me. Or one that Europe made me pass, the rest of the world do not see this as globally ambitious Britain. I mean, they really don't. They think, Lord, the Brits, you guys are always really common sense people. It's such a momentous decision. Let's reconsider when we see the deal. If we go ahead and we leave, as I say, then for me, that's, that's over. I mean, the, you'll hear, you know, no more about changing the decision. If you get past March 2019 and we leave, we're going to have to make the best of a new future. But we shouldn't take that decision irrevocably until we know what we're getting.